Hello and welcome to this video. So today I am going to show you my outfit because tomorrow is is my first day of school. And then probably like sometime tomorrow afternoon I'm going to get my hair cut. But you guys will see a picture of that tomorrow. Today I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys my outfit and maybe my choice of shoes which I have a really cool pair of shoes, which I will show you guys in about maybe like a couple of minutes. But right now, I just want to talk about my outfit and then the things that I will be learning in my class tomorrow for college. This is my second semester and I am so, so excited because I will learn like so much and then I'll finish and then I will be smart and sophisticated and I will just keep learning as much as I can so that when I grow up I can see myself doing greater and better things for my future. So let's move on to my out to my outfit right now. Okay so first I am going to wear this shirt it's kind of, it's kind of like a burgundy a maroon color kind of like a dark purple color well, it's not really purple i would say um burgundy maroon um that's the shirt that i will wear <clears throat> and i'll kind of show you how this outfit is going to be laid out so this is like really cute okay so then i have this nice cardigan, which is just a nice light sweater type shirt thing that, that will go over my shirt. So basically, this is how it's gonna look. So I'll wear this shirt and then it will go underneath the gray so that you only see like, maybe like, half of the shirt or something like that let me do that So it's supposed to kind of like be like this. So you'll see it kind of looks like an upside down triangle because at the bottom, as you can see, it has kind of like a little tie or like a knot, but it just kind of makes it like just nice and pretty. So I will wear that. And then I got these kind of, I would say kind of rusty colored comfortable jeans so I will wear these pants and the nice thing about these is it's not like jeans where it's like uncomfortable and hard to pull up like if if I um had to go you know I hope you guys know what I mean by that like I you know like if I have to go you know um and then I would, you know, just pull up my pants, you know, when I'm done. Um, so I hope you guys just get that little memo. That is just short for something that you have to do. I guess take your business is a better word to say. But, you know, as I'm saying about my pants and, you know, making sure that they're comfortable. You know, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Just, com just comfortable pants that will just kind of keep my outfit all nice and cute and everything and so pretty and so nice um so yeah comfortable pants that are not like jeans more comfortable more com sorry comfortable um so yeah got that and then of course i got this is kind of how it's gonna look when like when i wear it and i'll just look super cute um so that's kind of my outfit and then I got my brand new shoes. 
which I think I've shown you guys my new shoes. They're super nice. These are Air Jordans and they got some purple right here. They got purple right here. And then in the front, they are just black and they got the ties. It looks just like a normal shoe, but then it has kind of like splat paint, but it's kind of kind of laid out kind of even at the bottom if you guys can see that um and it's even kind of there so well sorry it's not like right in the front but on both sides that side and that side for both shoes and on the bottom it has pur the purple air jordans so Here's the other one, if you guys just want to see what it looks like again on the other shoe, same thing. Um, got that, and then the purple inside there, and yeah, and then the splat paint on that side and on that side. Um, and then of course the Air Jordan on the bottom of the shoe. So, and then of course I'll make sure I get plenty of cute pictures. Uh, before I get my haircut and then after my haircut because I will look kind of different compared to like what I will look like when I first take the picture right now this is right now this is how my hair looks but after I'm done with college class tomorrow then I'll get a haircut and you guys will see like the new improved look so you guys will see that before and then after I get my haircut so that's kind of the look so and right now i can just put my shoes away but i'm gonna lay out my really cute outfit okay so now we talk about the class that i'm taking so it is called employment essentials and I, and i'm gonna talk about just a couple of couple of things that are very important when it comes to job skills. So basically this job, sorry, not job, this college class is called Employment Essentials. So I wrote down a few basic things that I know that I will learn. So the first one is informing you of general safety, like taking good care of yourself and making sure that you don't hurt yourself like on an accident or accidentally hurt someone else on an accident, you know, just making sure that like you're not holding like a sharp object or if you're carrying big boxes or something, you know, you don't want to accidentally bump into someone and then they fall down and then they get a bloody nose. And, you know, that's part of safety, you know, just making sure that you don't like, let me think how to put this. Like, you don't want to accidentally, like, um, not see where you're walking. Yeah. So, um, y you just want to make sure that you're, that, that you can see where you are walking. Because you don't want something in front of you blocking you. And then you can't see someone's in front of you. And then they may fall down. But that's that's part of safety just making sure that you know where you're walking um and there's lots of other things like safety wise um the other thing is basic employment laws there are laws for different jobs for one good example at the movie theater like where i work they have laws for like things you can and cannot do it's just part of the rules same thing with the laws so that's kind of like the same thing like if you think rules and laws so rules are something that you follow same thing with the laws you need to follow the laws and if someone says i don't want you carrying a big box then don't carry a big box if someone says you know, I don't think that's safe. I would want you to come, you know, ask for help. Don't just try to do it all by yourself and then, you know, get like messed up and, you know, not do that correct or something. Like, it's okay to ask for help. And if there is a law and if you break the law, then you get in trouble. And it's just important that every job that you work out, work at, they all have like laws depending on where you're working um and like the scenery like you don't want to like 
be like in a scene or be in an area that's unsafe and it's not okay like don't go beyond you know what you cannot do because that's part of the limits like don't push it don't, don't go that far don't try to break the law that kind of thing so just making sure that you have the laws as you are an employee at whatever job that you are working at so that is a big thing that's important interviewing skills and getting to know you well and then like interviewing skills like i said they will get to know you and then they may ask you like how you do well with others like being kind being respectful making sure that if someone asks you to do something that you obey them that you um just do what they ask you to do so like if it's your manager or another employee or someone who's working that cashier if they ask you to do something you just do what they say you don't just go about your day and and do like whatever you want to do you know you need to listen making sure that you do the job correct and if they ask you to do something then you do it because that is part of respecting when you are working um and then the other thing is like training um people will train you to um work in different areas or different things that you may do for a job you know training you so that you can become an employee and so that they can hire you and they can see like you know we've been training for maybe like a month or so and then they see like how well you're doing and then if they see like you're doing like really good they will say you know i think you, you're doing so good that you know i may raise um how much you're getting paid or something so so you might get like more money because you're working harder and getting better and that's kind of part of training so that when you go through the training you you know how to um do the work that you are doing and making sure that you are doing the job correct because when you're going sorry going through the training you um you, you just kind of know how things are going. So that's that's training. Teamwork, working with others and introducing yourself. Just a small talk like, hi, I'm Aubrey, it's nice to meet you. Or if it's another boy, they, they may say like, hi, I'm Liam, it's nice to meet you. And then I would be like, hi, I'm Aubrey, it's nice to meet you. Or if it's another girl and let's say I don't know her, I could just say, hi, I'm Aubrey, it's nice to work with you. And then you may ask them like what their name is they'll say hi my name's lindsay or you know whatever like you just have a small talk when you're working um with other employees or other workers they may say their names and introduce themselves but don't but don't be like hi my name is aubrey and i come from like you know five siblings and i live a great life and and yeah. And I love to organize my clothes, you know, like you don't need to like have like a big conversation, just very little. Um, just hi, my name is obvious, nice to meet you. Um, and then this is another one, ethical behavior. That means like you don't want to be like out of control and do things wrong and mess things up. You just wanna, you know, be calm and if someone says like, are you worried? Are you stressed? Are you are you, like, are you upset or something? Like, can we talk about it instead of you like being like out of control and like, you know, just doing something wrong because you're upset about something. Just making sure that you have good behavior when you are working with other people. If someone is upsetting you or they say something unkind, um, the best thing to do is first go to your manager and say, you know, this has been happening for maybe like a week or a couple of days and, and like nothing is working right now. You know, what can I do to help the problem to get better and to resolve the problems for whatever is going on, that kind of stuff. So that's ethical behavior. Um, and then etiquette at work. Um, that's like being polite, being kind um and respecting people um and doing your job right that's adequate at work just 
preparing yourself and knowing what you are doing and know that you are doing the job right that's adequate at work and then also um you are the customer and if someone sorry let's say someone is the customer i'm not the customer someone else is okay and they say they want a large popcorn or today i want to buy um let's say it's at a grocery store you know and they lay out you know all the groceries you know you just help them you help your customer and make them feel happy and satisfied with what they got and hope that they have a great day and that's about it just being kind and respectful and i think i said that before but like when it comes to your customer you know how to talk to them and you know say um thank you have a nice day hope you enjoy what you got you know just stuff like that and the last one is professional workplace skills so you will learn tons of different things tons of different skills and techniques and how to do things correctly how to do things in order or how to do things how other people want you to do it and stuff like that you you sorry basically you just want to be professional act professional um and making sure that you know what you're getting yourself into so like if you add a workspace and and let's say you have no idea what to do the best thing is just say you know i'm sorry i don't really understand or i don't know how to help this person can you can you teach me so, so that i know for the next time when i come to work because you know every day you know we're learning how to do things the right way um so just being professional acting like you have good behavior and that we are respectful to each other those are the main topics of of my class for tomorrow and the rest of the weeks that i will continue with my college class that is the main and everything that i will be learning in college class for employment essentials those were the main topics and main things to talk to you guys about for my, for my college class and those are the things that i will be learning and then if i learn something new i'll let you guys know in the next video so thank you guys for watching and i guess that's about it so peace out